Hi, I'm Corey Donson, and in this video I'll be demonstrating some software that I've written to access and control my iRobot Roomba. This is a special version of the Roomba known as the Create 2, and it has a serial port you can access to give control commands and also receive sensor information. If you'd like to learn more about this robot, you can visit the iRobot.com website. The most important resource you'll find there is the protocol document, which can be seen here. This document precisely describes the byte traffic required to give control commands and also read the sensor data. For example, in the bottom of the document we can see a synopsis here of the available information which includes wall sensors, range finders, battery voltage and current, motor current, motor encoders, and many other items. Let's take a look. On the left hand side of the screen we have a live video of the robot and on the right hand side is my dashboard application. This application is written in C++ and it uses the Qt framework for the GUI. This dashboard is pretty handy for uh, when you first get your robot, you can hook it up and test subsystems, make sure all your sensors are working, and do some basic manual tests. As you can see here, we have a data link panel, and this is showing the number of packets that have been received from the robot, and also the packets that have been number of packets that have been sent to it. In the top left, we have battery information. Uh, you can see voltage, charge current, capacity, and temperature. As you can see, we're a little over 15 volts right now. In the bottom here, we have a 77 display. And as you can see on the robot, um, the numbers in the GUI, you can, you can change the numbers on the screen by the slider bar here. Also, the robot has the capability uh, to make music, and it can play tones. Um, from a little speaker that's on the side. And I'll demonstrate four songs that are loaded up for you. Okay, let's do a drive demonstration. I'm gonna take a left-hand turn and drive the robot into the wall. You're gonna be able to see the, uh, the wall sensors activate and also here on the motor current um, I'm going to stall it out and we can watch that data as well. Okay, you can see our bumper sensors are triggered and also I'm going to continuously drive into the wall and let's watch the motor current. Also as we can see as we drive around that our encoder data is changing. This would be handy for odometry. Okay, for the next part of the demonstration, I'm going to set the robot on a box so we can play with the cliff sensors and the ring sensors. Okay, as you can see, our wheel drop sensors have been triggered, and also all of our cliff sensors are triggered. If I um, lift the wheels back up, you can see that information is displayed. Also, I'm going to move my hand underneath the front bumper of the robot across all these sensors and you'll, you'll get to see each one of these uh, be triggered. These sensors are critical for avoiding, for example, falling off a stairwell. This information here on this panel is the range data. And all along the front bumper here, there's different sensors that allow the robot to detect distance. I'm going to move my hand across the, the front lens, and as I progress across, you can see all this information change. Okay, that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.